Well, here we are in event three, and you say we're going we're gonna to away from event three? Well, this is three of 42 in the Judean Perean area in AD 29, but it was so much information, it had to be broken down into four sections. And you remember what the four sections were. Who was Jesus? Well, he's the light of the world, verses 21 through 28, chapter 8 of the John only. Secondly, he's the one that sets you free. You are a slave to sin, and he's the only one that can set you free from that. You'll find that in 29 through 37. Who's your father? Uh, almost humorous as we think about that. And uh, that's verses 37 through 50. And uh, we, we know that uh, we can have, uh, they thought they were, uh, thought their father was Abraham, but we know it's got to be one of two people, and that's the devil, or it's got to be the Lord. And then uh, today, what we're going to be looking at is the eternal part of this. It's uh, our fourth part of this particular event and section, and it starts out in verse 51. And it starts out with something very interesting. Truly, truly. Have you ever wondered about that? Well, if you're a King James person, you probably never even thought about that because in King James, it's verily, verily. Now, there can be in the New American Standard and other translations a single truly. And just as in the King James, there can be a one verily instead of verily, verily. You say, well, what are you talking about? <laughs> well, John is the only one who was so emphatic You'll only find verily, verily, or truly, truly in the Gospel of John. And John wanted to be sure you didn't miss certain points of what he had to write. And he wrote truly, truly, or verily, verily. Now, what is he saying here? What is he trying to emphasize? He says, everyone, everyone, who keeps my word, now that means believe in me and all of the rest, whoever keeps my word and believes in me will never see death. That's eternal. You, you say, but my body's going to die. Yes, it will, unless the rapture comes uh, and takes you out sooner than, uh, the, than your body dies, then you will uh, still never see death either way if you belong to him. And John wants to be sure you know that. And Jesus was teaching that here in the synagogue in Jerusalem at about A.D. 29. And they said, well, you know, are you greater than our father Abraham? <laughs> Jesus says, Abraham died just like the rest of the prophets. And he says, and, and uh, well, then what do you make of yourself? And he says, uh, the Father glorifies me, and I glorify the Father, and I keep his word. And <laughs> he says, Abraham, your father, uh, is going to rejoice in my day. And they said, wait a minute. <laughs> How can Abraham, who is now dead, rejoice in your day? I mean, you're not even 50 years of age. Uh, how is it that Abraham is going to rejoice in your day? Are, are you that old that you were alive when Abraham was alive? And he says, I was before Abraham. I am. <laughs> about that? And, and he goes on and, and he says, and I not only was before Abraham, but I always will be. I am eternal as well. So we have not only those that can become eternal through the belief in Jesus Christ, but we have 
Jesus who's saying, I am eternal. I was before Abraham and I always will be. Now, what is the other uh, places that uh, John says truly, truly? Well, we can't cover them today because there's more than 20 places where he's emphatic about some truth that he wants to share with the readers. But we can say this, that in this chapter, there's a couple more truly, truly's. Uh, if you look back at verse 34, uh, you're going to see that you were saved from your sin. And he says, truly, truly, you were saved from your sin. And here he tells us, truly, truly, if you believe in him and keep his word, you'll never see death. And then he says, truly, truly, before Abraham, I was, I am, he says. So three times here in chapter 8, he uses that emphatic, truly, truly. And uh, there's a number of chapters in the Gospel of John, uh, and only 20 times when he doesn't say just truly, he says truly, truly. So these are some things that he wanted you to emphatically know. He wanted you to emphatically know that you're saved from your sin. He wanted you to know that you can have eternal life. And he wanted you to know that he is eternal. Not only did he come, but he's coming again because he's eternal. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, three in one, and he's coming again. God bless you and have a great day. can know for certain about salvation through the Roman road. Romans 3.23, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 5.8, but God demonstrates his own love toward us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5.6, for while we were still helpless at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. Romans 6.23, for the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. And Romans 10.9, that if we confess with our mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. God bless you and have a great day.